My name is T. Rockmore, and we are in the French Quarter of New Orleans. I'm an artist, and the medium that I use is everything. And I use everything from wood to fabrics to money to mineral oil to metal. I describe my style of art as art that is based in activism. I think that I'm an activist first. I only began producing art about 14 months ago. When I turned into an activist, dealing with uh, specifically white privilege, racism, was 10 years ago during Katrina. My inspiration, I guess, really manifests itself from my own feelings and my feelings about what I'm reading, about what has happened, about every time I think about the abandoned people at the convention center after Katrina. Those thoughts are always with me. Whenever I see something out um, in the quarter, typically in the shops, that may uh, be great for an art piece, I buy it. I do like multiples, so if they do have multiples of things, I end up buying them. I bought these busts of black dolls, um, some casts, um, and just multiples of everything. I expanded my aesthetic for Bombay Sapphire tremendously to make this mural. I had to do that because this was going to be a giant piece of public art. When I won their award, that incredibly prestigious award, I won it as an artist. So they were, you know, giving me accolades, but they were giving my message accolades. I knew that this was an incredible opportunity to come up with a phoenix of New Orleans, 10 years post Katrina. It is this city that drives my creative process. But really, I'm so passionate about racism in this country and white privilege in this country and that being the big moral issue of this time that I'm really forced now to produce this work and I'm loving it.